All right. He said that he, he'll bring his car here. Oh, okay. okay. It's an extreme close up. It's a handsome car. Who is that? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, you again, but it's. Oh, my. It is, it is, it's true. Just haven't been drawing for a while, so. Well, no, it looks to me as if you have been. Oh, that's very really good. This one is better. I see, you're flipping the bird in that one. I like it. <laughs> you're saying that? Eh? Yeah. But I really like this series, what I gave you as well. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. no, that's a beautiful series. Let me see that more. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, could I take a picture, but under this lamp, so I could get some light? So I really love your hands. Architectural style is from uh, Stalin uh -huh. uh, time. Oh, wait, we're gonna get closer, yeah? Oh, here's a, yeah, just a piece of paper like this will do. I have some coins in my pocket. Let me see. Do I? Yeah, that should be enough, all right. I have a number of coins. So I'll place it on the table here and cover it with a piece of newspaper. I won't, I don't a no paper. I won't go anywhere near it. But now I had to need somebody with a pencil and a paper that will do a little calculation for me. Somebody have a, I have a pen here, but do you have a uh, piece of paper? They're very good. And see if you can get a pen, please. Some kind. Of, uh, any, any kind of good. That's fine. Just, just something you can write on. Well, it's not very good for writing on. It already has printing on it. No, no. Let's get a fine piece of paper. Much better. And, and much classier, too. Um, and a pen. Go along. There's the gentleman right there. All right. Give it to somebody in the audience here who can, who can do some mathematics. Simple mathematics. It's not very... Also. <laughs> oh, All right, fine. All right. This is what I'm going to ask you to do, please. And other people can do it along with you if you want. Um, this is a prediction. The coins that are there. Now, you see, I, I give a, a number of coins that I put on the table, and I do that so that I can't change my prediction. See? The number of coins there represent not the value of the coins. It's not the value. It's the number of the actual coins that are there. That is a prediction of the number that you're going to come up with in a moment. All right? Now, I'd like you to, to hold it so I can't see it. Write any two-digit number there. Any two-digit number. Okay? As long as the two digits are not the same, like 11 or 44 or something. Do you have a number there? Now? Okay. Now, I want you to reverse that number like this to make a second number. Okay? Now, I want you to subtract the smaller two-digit number away from the larger two-digit number. And don't tell me what you have. There you go. I think it's right? Okay. Whatever number you have there, is it a two-digit number? All right. Add those two digits together to get the final number. All right? Now, this is going to be the real final number. If you divide what you have there, that number divided exactly in half, that's the number of coins that is underneath the paper. I guarantee it. I'll give you the million dollars if it's not. <laughs> All right, what result did you get? Step over to the paper, move the paper aside, please, and see what number of coins that I have there, please. Step over to the paper, slide it aside, and see the number of coins. See how close I came. How many coins do we have? 4.5. Yes, there was some years ago, uh, I had done a program in South Korea, and it got a lot of attention. So the Solar Broadcasting Company I decided they would like to do a series, a television series with me, which would uh, handle the million dollar offer, mm -hmm. million dollar challenge. And uh, I agreed, yes, and they came over from South Korea from Seoul Broadcasting and they sat with me and they negotiated a contract. And uh, after I had negotiated everything with the translator sitting there, explaining to me the terms, I signed it. And the interpreter immediately said, Mr. Randy, you're going to find, I think, that uh, you've lost the million dollars because we have psychics in Korea that do wonderful things that are absolutely incredible. They cannot be explained. I'll do a lot of this for you. <laughs> and um, 
I said, well, if that's the case, uh, sure, I'll have to give away the million dollars uh, then if they win. And uh, so they went away very yeah. satisfied, you see. And I went over yeah, there with my good. assistant, not Brandon this time, but another assistant. And uh, when we got there, I spent two or three hours looking over the records of what they had. It was exactly the same thing that's been going on since the year 1600, mm -hmm. when a book came out in England called Hocus Pocus Junior, which was the first book to explain how magic tricks are done. Mm -hmm. But it's exactly the same thing. Now in Korea, when they went to lunch, they had kimchi. Mm -hmm. In Italy, when they went to lunch, they had spaghetti. Mm -hmm. You see? It's just a difference in flavor and of food and in costume and in facial features. But it's the same nonsense, mm -hmm. always the same nonsense.